Hey, what's going on, guys? Before we start this video, I will be doing two weather giveaway rerolls for one winner each. So, if you want to enter that, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to show you guys all of a new content they pushed out with the update 2 last night. Or not update 2, update 3 last night. So, right off the ripoff spot over here, you're going to want to go over here to the raid mode building. Once you walk in here, you'll see the raid shop with all the new rewards you can craft with the stuff here. First, you have the Titan card, which I'm not sure what the stats are on it because I don't think anyone has it. Boss potions, which I realize if you beat three raids, you can craft two. Uh, you can craft uh, if you beat two raids, you can craft three of these. And then corrupt potion, you have 50% luck. Star potion, 20% border chance. Luck three potion and speed three potion. So on the top left, you're gonna see the raids timer that pops up every other every other hour, I believe, and it lasts for one hour. This is the portal over here. Um, it's not always here. It's only going to pop up when the raids come up. This is the boss over here. At the top, you're going to see the bar that you have to meet, the thresholds for the rewards. This is not HP. This is just damage. If you go to the boss here, interact with the boss, let's fight. So the boss's HP never goes down. The only thing that goes up is the damage on here. So you, can, you kill it, damage bar up here, and goes up a tiny bit, right? I found out that the best strat is just to have one card on. So, that's pretty much rage. You can only do them alone. They are not the server wide, it's just a solo thing. If you walk right out over here, you will see the card deconstruction, which is really important for your potions. Only your potions. Everything else is useless. I don't understand what else they did for it, but pretty much this is a conversion rate over here 1x universal equals 10x rainbow. And that's a pretty bad conversion rate. But when you don't need the card anymore, for example, rumbling cards, they're not that good. You just deconstruct it into your card you need for your potion. So we're going to go over here to, let's see a card I don't need. Um, for example, let's say if I deconstruct one Sanji, I can do one or all. I'm going to do one here. Just to show you guys, deconstruct, it's selected, I click deconstruct, boom, gave me 30x normal black leg chefs. So that's pretty much card deconstruction, that's all it does, and I don't believe it does anything else. So, we're now going to check out the new boss over here. They add, did add a new boss, it's called Muzan. Well, that's not actually what it's called, but his name is Muzan from Demon Slayer. You run right over here on the left side, you click the plaque. Here on the plaque are the rewards for defeating the Immortal Demon, aka Muzan. 1.5x battle speed plus card deconstruction. Now this is really important to progress even further and get 2x. Well, not 2x because you need the game pass, but just speed up your infinite floors and stuff like that. Now you can use this on NPCs, you can use it on bosses, you can use it on the raid boss, and you can use it in ranked as well. You go on the portal over here, you'll see the trainer and the boss. The trainer does give you potions as well. Uh, I forgot I had my one card equipped, but if I had my full deck, he would be dead. This is the Muzan boss over here. 500 million in uh, power, or one in 500 million. A lot more than Burl, so if you pull his card, you are chilling. If you guys want me to cook up a card deck for Muzan, just let me know and I'll make a video about that. So we're going to come out over here. The next thing we're going to look at is the new card packs they added. So I realized with the card packs, it looks like each card pack, they're adding, I think, eight or more cards. And all those cards are coming from the character suggestion channel in the Discord. So this is card packs over here. Interact with it. You can switch up your card pack. So this is really important. When every card pack you have selected, that's what you're going to roll from with normal pools. So you can roll normal pools. And you can roll the pack, but you cannot roll the pack and fantasy pack at the same time. You can only select one of them to roll. I've realized that the fantasy card pack stats aren't really good as the mono card packs, but the abilities are, I think some of them are a lot better. So now we're going to check out the new quality of life things they added with the update here. I do believe that is all the physical updates they added here. But quality of life on the bottom left, you'll see plus two luck event weekend. I believe that happens every weekend. Then they have the weather events that happen on Monday, Wednesday, and I believe Friday. They end at 6 p.m. So they did not say what it is included in the weather events. They just said that they start on those days. Um, so if you go here on the bottom left, 
settings, click it, change battle speed. You can go to 0.5, which I don't know why anybody would do. You can go up to 1, that's the normal battle speed. You can go up to 1.5 for free to play. And you can go up to 2 for anyone who buys the game pass for 400 Robux. They also added a hide VFX button, uh, which is just the, I'm pretty sure it's just the auras and stuff like that. Biggest quality of life thing, which I think was pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's the biggest, but it is really important. When a new weather pops up, it has a timer on it right below the weather. So that's pretty useful. Some of it is not accurate. So for example, some of it will end on eight seconds. Balance changes, Lugmatic healing buffed from 10 to 15%, which is really OP. Um, I realized a good combo would be the older brother gold or anything above it. Heal 30% of your HP after being attacked. You put the slug medic support card on, which if you click card deck, you get support cards. Deck. They did not any did not add any new support cards, but you get a 45% healing every turn, which is kind of wild. They also uh, changed Wandering Shadowmirai. He does not work on bosses anymore. Monaga card scaling got nerfed 3.3x to 3.1x. Honestly, it's not that crazy. Same with the Galaxy here. Galaxy card scaling nerfed from 2.8x to 2.7x. Sacred Heart now heals 20% of the damage uh, taken instead of 35%. So that is the Manga card. Um, he's only a Manga exclusive weather. So that's a pretty big, pretty big change to him. But he's still broken because he's a Manga card. It's that's broken. Firefighter Burn nerfed by 20%. Shinsu Bomb nerfed by 25%. So if you don't know what Shinsu Bomb is, that is the regular card. His ability on it is the Shinsu Bomb. Um, it got nerfed, but it still one-shots my cards. So I don't think it was that big of a nerf. So now you can now pop rare potions doing weathers. Uh, not weathers. Uh, you can now pop rare potions doing wicked potions. And it'll choose the more rarer potion first. And then switch back to your other potion when you run out of the rarer one. So for example, I have my luck three potion popped, or oh, my luck one potion popped. If I have that popped, right, and I pop my luck three potion, my luck three potion overrides it, and it would use my luck three potion first, and then switch back to my luck one potion. Which some people might say that's not useful, but it is pretty useful because if you get a crazy weather and you have a lower tier potion popped just to have it popped, you can switch it. Um, other other stuff they made the battle pass giftable. Over here, you see gift option. They did not renew the battle pass as well. I, I'm not sure when they're going to do that. They have not said. They also doubled the rank rewards over here. Literally doubled them um, significantly. Um, increased the rewards for 51 to 100 as well. So that's pretty useful. But I still think infinite floor is worth doing over ranked. If you're AFKing overnight. Since you cannot battle in both of them at the same time. They changed the art for Sacred Heart plus some other cards. So... The artwork for Sacred Card is from the Record of Ragnarok character. Um, I'm not quite sure on his name. I think he's Buddha. Um, other bug fixes. Fix support cards blowing out events like Medic. Quick row popping up if setting was off. That was kind of annoying, but nothing crazy with the bug fixes. But that's pretty much everything. I'm pretty sure we covered everything in this video with the update 3. If you guys have anything that i missed just let me know down below in the comment section but we're also going to be doing our vip giveaway for the a video that i just posted um we're actually going to be doing two of them i didn't mention the last video was two but we're going to be doing two vip giveaways if you win this giveaway and you have vip you can claim it for a weather boost and whatever potion that fits that equivalent value of the vip so thank you guys for watching appreciate it if you guys want to see more content just let me know what you want to see and i'll see you guys later peace all right guys we're going to be rolling the giveaway winners for what i got from 1 million rolls in anime card battle there's going to be two winners good luck first winner is the fifth dragon uh, if you win, join my Discord down below so I can contact you and give you your winnings. Second winner is Zumbi Zumbi. I think that's how I say it. Yep. Congratulations, guys.